legal? They're making lead weed legal? What does it mean, the word legal? Le, L-E-G-A-L, L-E-G-E-L, legal, legal? Play of words. Control. Hey, they just made flour legal. My pig used to eat weed. My pig ate so much weed that when I ate the pig, I actually started to feel good. The values inside the hemp product, the values in any product, you must remove. They're telling you don't use any solvents on these products to make it even stronger. But what have they done to the food source? What have they done to all our foods? They've made all our foods weaker. They removed the immune systems from our foods. They can no longer be immune to what surrounds them. We grow stuff that maybe shouldn't be grown here, and we've moved the element of, of detrimental life from one part of this, this world that we live on, this, this what they call globe, okay? What they call sphere, whether it's a sphere, whether it's a pancake. Don't forget, the nickel shows that it's a pancake. Right, The nickel doesn't show a round earth, it shows a pancake. The round of the earth is inside the earth. Right, The round is inside the earth. It's only so big, and it's what makes time tick. But we're not into that. We're into illegal and illegal. Why are things legal, and why are things illegal, and why can't your parents teach you better? If you're going to do something illegal... Make sure it doesn't hurt somebody by stealing or by hurting them physically or mentally. But if you hurt yourself physically and mentally, shouldn't that be your own problem? Because of money that it costs? Because of money that it costs? Please. I've seen somebody buy couches seven times. That should be illegal because of money it costs. You bought a couch, but your child was eating McDonald's. Well, that's expensive. You bought a couch. Legal and illegal, legal, moral reality to the totality of life. But this is not how this world works. This world is based on money, not love. What is the primary goal on a planet? It is human existence animal existence, the existence of nature to keep the human light alive, to continue on. It has nothing to do with money, but it does have to do with what we regard as the highest level of seniority, and that is the woman. For more than one reason, I'm going to give you just two reasons. Who's in the office when you get in the morning? The secretary. Who serves your breakfast? the waitress. Who takes your money? The cashier. Is it a maitre d', the guy bringing you to your table, but it's the woman who serves you at your table. It is the woman that serves you in your office. It is the one, the transporter that gets brings something from point A to point B to make sure it arrives safe. Who's in the kitchen cooking in the big restaurants? It's the guys slaving over the stoves, Because we need the final touch, that perfect touch, before things become animalistic. The female, and I'm just saying this because I'm basing this on old. I'm basing this where at the beginning, although we're we're not talking who went to war, right? Who went to war? Because for some reason, they're always saying it's the man that went to war. The man. Maybe in this day and age, the men go to war. But how do we not know that millions of years ago, it was the woman that put everything in order? In fact, without the woman, and that's why we always use it as an expression, without the other half, without the better half. Because without the better half, we don't have the seed. We can drink the liquid, but we don't have the seed. Now, I hope nobody takes this to heart, of what I'm talking about, right? Because in this story, I am the... I am the Archangel Raphael. I am the healer. 
and I am the fool. I am the fool. And I've been fooled many times. Now, what are we talking about? Yes, legal and illegal. I bought 12 bananas this week. Should that be illegal? What does it mean, legal and illegal? When it helps, it's sometimes still illegal. Eventually in the future, at one point, to buy gasoline will be illegal. Legality and why we have rules. And who makes you believe that these rules are good? I walked into a store the other day. The guy said to me, he says, oh, no, no, no. Let's not have any more marijuana on the street. The kids, the kids, the kids. Teach your kids. Make them understand. Make all the kids understand to see the difference. Will they smoke at 14, 15, 16? I'm not going to tell you that I did. I'm not going to tell you that. Whether I did or not. Or I did. <laughs> School was fun. It was so much more fun to concentrate in school when I saw some of the kids around me were um, studying real hard. Me too. Um, legal and illegal. Um, there, we're warring all over the world, and yet you go to certain countries, and oh, it's just retarded what's going on in this world. And here we're talking about the legality of marijuana. When you go to Iraq or Iran or you go to Saudi Arabia, you spit on the floor where there's one prince in charge of all the people, where everybody becomes a pauper. Yet when we go to war in these in certain countries, right, we don't war against people trying to get other people to say, hey, a woman is just like a man. Treat her right. Give her her rights. Don't tie her up and boss her and put a clothing over her head so we can't see her. Well, we don't stop that in the world. We stop where the money is. Let's go. Legality. Illegal. Do. Thank you for